hello guys welcome to solving solutions to unbound channel where i get solutions to all your solving problems it's nine seven in class again today i'll be been on today's tutorial we are going to show you how to align the geometries of raster right good now recently i was trying to carry out um prediction of um land use land cover and then i have two set of raster just like we have here um the digital elevation model and then let's say one land use land cover data right good now they were actually clipped to the same extent however when i was using it in the prediction algorithm i encountered them um, rasters do not have the same geometry so i thought i should um, share this video so we have the two rasters here the 2018 land use land cover data and digital elevation model right good and we are going to use the Molux plugin which we want to use for the prediction of the land use land cover data right good now the parameters are not complete but let's just try something let's still use this as final and then we add this as what the special variable right good we now try to confirm geometry you are going to see that geometries of the initial raster and raster in that of the digital elevation model are different this underscores the essence of today's tutorial because we are trying to align what the raster of the digital elevation model and that of the land use land cover data however it is that of the digital elevation model that must conform with that of what the land use land cover data therefore we need to bring the um, properties of the dam to match with that of what the land use land cover data so that is why we are having what to this tutorial right so if you open this dam data to the properties and then you come up to the source you are going to see some raster information right good you are going to see some extent information you are going to see some special reference information statistics and all of that right good now these are quite some important um, parameters or some important properties of your raster data that um, must align if you want to use the boot data for modeling or for prediction purpose so now for the raster information you can see the columns and the rows we have 1564 and then 1510 you can see the cell size of um, 30.668 and then 30.668 then you can see the the no data value you can see the pixel depth and you know the pixel type and all of that right so now these are some important um, parameters yeah these are some important parameters that need to match coming up to the extent you can also see the top left right and the bottom now before we proceed you must ensure that your two rasters are in the same um, coordinate reference system right good so if you are using projected ensure that the both rasters are in projected if you're using geographic ensure that the both rasters are in geographic so we can also see the extent of um, the dem which has been displayed here similarly the spatial reference yes they are in projected zone 32 so the units are all the same and all of that so there was no much um, challenge here. but i think the bone of contention was from the was from the columns and the rows then from the maybe the cell size and some other stuff so we are going to fix that as um, we proceed on to this tutorial so um, first off we can also check that of the land use land cover we can see 15 99 then for the cell size we can see 30 30 then for the pixel type sign the integer then for the no data value we can see that then for the extent we can see this as well right good so now these are what we are trying to fix so first off we are going to use the to float tool so we search for to float right good so we have the special analyst tool here good so what does it do it converts um 
each cell value of a raster into a floating point representation right good now um what we want to convert to float is the dem the raster whose geometry i want to align here is that of the digital elevation model right good now the land is land cover is okay because um let me see that is the base data and then it is a digital elevation model raster that i want to align so that is the input raster we have here so we are going to impute the dem here and then for the output let's continue using what um the default directory that um arcgis provides so we click on ok good so we have a result a success result and then we have our dem here right good now the next thing is for us to use another tool the other tool will be extract by max right good so we search for that tool so we have this um extract by max here right good now um it extracts the cell of a raster that corresponds to the areas defined by a max right good so now this is where the the new um, dem we have and our land land cover data will come in so the input raster will be the dem remember it does not have dot teeth in front of it that's a distinction then the input raster for the max data will be our land use land cover data right so let's um have this as um extract underscore them one okay now we have to pay attention to quite some stuff here let's come to environment because this is where the most important part of the aligning works or let's say the alignment works so for the processing extent instead of leaving it at default we are going to use the extent of what the 2018 land use land cover so you now see that we have what values for top left right and bottom right good so now this gives the tool the extent with which the processing would what would run right good so then for the snap raster we also use what the 2018 now as you click on any of these parameters you can do well to read the guide that is provided by arcgis right good so you would know why you are doing what you're doing because it's actually very very important so i haven't fixed the processing extent let's still come down to the raster analysis now for the raster analysis for the cell size instead of leaving it as a maximum of inputs remember when we opened the 2018 land use land cover data we saw a cell size of 30 by 30 right good but that of the demo was giving us 30.6 something and 30.6 something so for us to have a um, uniform cell size we are going to see as specified as below then we provide what the cell size that we need because we are trying to align the raster of this dem to that of the 2018 so that the both of them can have the same what um properties right good so we have now specified it to be what 30 by 30 then for the max we still need to specify 2018 right good we still need to select 2018 so now these are some important um, parameters to fix if we want to have a well aligned geometry for our raster right good so we have fixed the processing extent and then we have also fixed the raster analysis right good so now we can decide to click on ok and then if the output directory is ok by us we run by clicking ok again right good so we have an output extract by max is out and then we have this so we are now going to compare the properties of this extracted them or should we call it that with this extracted them with that of the land use land cover which serves as our what as our base data right good so we have 1599 let me copy and paste somewhere 1599 represents the columns and the row then for the cell size we have 30 by 30 we can still paste that somewhere there then what else are we looking at 
for the no data value the pixel type and then the next important parameter are the extent right good where we have the top of um, let's say 25 75 45 and 05 right good. now these values are important to us so we are just going to use the last digit there we have 25 we have 75 we have 45 and then we have 05 right good so now these are the last values of what the coordinates that define the extent and the special reference we told you that they must be in the same coordinate reference system right good so now if we have been able to fix this this is the base right good now let us now compare it with what we have in the aligned raster so we have um 1599 1544 which is this which is the columns and the rows then for the cell size we have the 30 by 30 and if we still scroll down to the extent we have the 25 75 45 05 right now the crs is still the same because we are using um, the same projected crs so so if you have been able to successfully achieve this or haven't achieved this you can now continue with your maybe your modeling or your prediction because the two cell size have been what they have been matched good so um we hope we have exhaustively shown you on today's tutorial how to carry out um alignment of what geometry of your raster data right good so thanks for coming to class we hope to see you on the next tutorial ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time bye